Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How-To Videos. This video is on how to import a project export file with a DD export extension. It will demonstrate how to use the project manager to successfully import a DD export into a desired instance. Now, let's get started. As you can see, there's only one project in this instance, which is the sales diagnostics. So what we're going to do is import a DD export that consists of a project. The file that we're going to import is the sample export DD export, which was generated in the how-to video Tundas dashboard project migrating export. What we would like to do is open the project manager. The default location is C, Program Files, Dundas Data Visualization, Dundas Dashboard, Your Particular Instance, Tools, Project Manager, and here we would like to select Dundas Dashboard Project Manager application. Once it loads, you'll see the following interface. The first thing we would like to do is select the application from the dropdown, which is really selecting which instance we would like to take effect on. In our case, it is 447. After making a selection, the two buttons will become active. One is for exporting, while the other one is for importing. Since we would like to import, let's click on Import Application Elements. A new window will appear. It will ask you if you would like to make a backup of the target database. This is highly recommended because if the imported DD export contains the same objects as the one that are already in that instance, the DD export will overwrite it. For demonstration purposes, I will not do a backup and I'll click continue. Now you'll need to select which DD export file you want to import. Remember, ours was sample export. Here you'll be able to select which parts you would want to import. Projects, global variables if they exist, any object in the project and their properties such as annotations. In our case, we want to import the entire project. So let's just click off the entire project. Note the name of the project is how to video. Since we're satisfied with our selection, let's click import. You should receive a pop-up saying data import successful. Now you can close everything. Just to ensure everything worked as expected, let's reopen the dashboard and see. Let's log in and check our projects. As you can see, we have one additional project, which is how to video. Let's open up the dashboard and it is working as expected. However, there may be cases where you'll need to adjust the data connector to point to a new database as this new instance may not have access to the original database. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.